Okay, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fellow fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we're getting into mid-May right now, and today we're doing a quick session on the North Shore, kind of. Uh, we're going to be looking for striped bass. Ideally, uh, some bigger fish will be moving in and the bite will be good. It's going to be a kind of weird tide this morning on its way out. Uh, we should have some good movement at first before it goes slack and then starts moving again in this particular spot. Uh, I'm hoping some big bass are moving through. It's a spot I fished before in the past. Around this time, I've done fairly well. Uh, sometimes it could be a little tricky though. So there should be some nice fish around. Hopefully they'll be biting. I'm gonna throw a variety of soft plastics ideally. Uh, I got some other stuff too. And I'm meeting up with someone I think that might be able to help out in that front. Maybe some trolling stuff, some trolling options, I don't know. But one way or another, I'm hoping to get into them. And if you're watching this, something's going to happen, as always. So stay tuned, because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing. Accomplished. Come on. Got one. Oh yeah. Definitely. Get right up in the structure. It's good fish. Good fish. We're gonna make this worth it, Mike. Oh boy. Jeez. A lot of structure, so be careful. It's a good fish. Jeez. Big boy. Here, we got the leader. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Are you bigger? <laughs> nice Hell yeah. No, this is a Elias fed. What a way to start. I choked it. Oh. <laughs> now I got him. Let's get a measure on this guy. Since I set this up. Yeah, 34, 35, thereabouts. Get her back. Nice fish. Just reviving this girl until she's good to go. Alright, it's biting my finger. 
She's good. Woo. All right, we got our first fish. Got her revived, got her back. 35 or so incher. Let's see if we can get number two. All right, round two. Got that guy in the first drift. Let's see if we can go two for two. While this bite is still hopefully pretty hot. Yeah, so uh, after getting that fish, uh, I obviously tried to do another round of jigging in that area. But the, as you might be able to tell, it was pretty sloppy out this morning. Uh, we had a major wind versus tide thing going on. And uh, it was really, really hard to hold bottom. So, you know, after a few attempts at trying to do the same thing again, it was just pretty much impossible to fish this area in a productive way. So my buddy and I ended up making a few moves, um, checking out some other areas where the current wasn't quite as strong. And uh, it was a bit of a grind. We never really found a big concentration of fish. Uh, we tried a bit of trolling. I tried jigging on some spots where I've gotten fish, you know, some deep holes and deep racks and structure, uh, but couldn't really find any takers. Eventually, you know, my friend uh, Mike, he was trolling a, a tube and he eventually hooked up. So let's check that out. Big Mike's on. Let's go check him out. Mike got one on the tube. You better not lose that fish. Let's go. Here, I'll take a picture of you. Let's go. <laughs> nice fish, man. Here, I'm coming closer. You gonna keep it? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna measure him first. Yeah, it's close. It's probably just right at it. Hold on. I'm gonna abide by the new regulation. Yeah, that's definitely slot at least. Here, hold him out, like push him out towards me a little. It's definitely, it's definitely within the old slot. Here. Oh, let him go. Nice, man. All right, so yeah, you put you put the time in, you get him. Oh my god, <laughs> that was crazy. Hell yeah, man. Dude, he did. He just kept running. He kept running. <laughs> you know it's that current, man. Yeah. That All right, Mike just got a a nice one on the the tube. I'm gonna put the shad back out and see what happens. All right, let's give this one more go. See if we can bookend with fish from this spot. Tide's a little bit more manageable now. At least I hope it is. Yo! Mike! Little guy. Probably just about lower slot ish. Get another. Alright, just got another. Let's see if we can get one or two more and then call it a day. Don't have a lot of time left. But happy to get on a few more fish. Another one. <laughs> Go. 
الارض Feels a bit better than the last one. Glad we came back. Just the trap. Definitely better than the last one. This is fouled. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Yo! It's not too shabby. <laughs> nice thirty two ish. I think he's good. He wasn't fighting that long. All right, let's keep it going. All right, all right, just got another one. So that's two fish and one miss in like five minutes. Let's see if we can pull another fish off this piling. All right. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. Overall, a lot of fun. A uh, bit tricky though. Uh, it was a little sloppy when we got in the water which definitely limited just how successful we can be, you know, vertical jigging, but got that one really nice fish from the get-go and then had to look for a while. My buddy Mike got a, a decent fish on the troll on a tube, um, which, you know, kept some hope for us. And then finally we bookended it back to the bridge, which worked out well for me. Uh, overall, I think this bite's really gonna pick up in the next couple weeks uh, all over. I mean, the fish are everywhere. It's just whether they're the big ones or not, and when you get out. Right now, my time is really limited, so I'm lucky if I can get out, period, once, maybe twice a week, so. I was happy it worked out this morning. Fairly quick outing, good results, all things considered. Uh, the real key was just making sure to stay with the tide as it was moving, keeping the lower and the lower third of the water column, vertical jigging for me. Uh, but otherwise, I look forward to, you know, when this bite really, really picks up and the big bass are everywhere. Thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And of course, you know, Thanks for watching as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye from fishing.